I do want to give you one word of warning here though. There have been some brooders of this type that get too hot. I actually bought one of these brooders unknowingly. I never would have bought it if I knew that it got too hot. And I was so exciting about using it. It's this one. I actually decked it out like a hen. If you're interested in why, I have another video on why I did this. It also is based on science. And so I'll link to that below. But you can see here, I had it all ready to go. I had the comfort feathers on. I had the nice little hen head and I was so excited to use this this year for my chicks. And then when I turned it on to test it out, it was just so, so hot. I could touch it and if I left my hand there for very long, it would have burned my hand. Your brooder plate should never be that hot. It should be warm to the touch. And when your chicks press against it, that will help warm them up even more. So it just, it should not be hot. It should be warm, it should never feel like it's gonna burn your hand. And I have read in some forums, some anecdotes on some brands that also have had this problem of being too hot. I don't know why this is happening. These things are tested and they really shouldn't be happening. But you do need to be careful on the brand you use. I personally love this one and uh, I should have checked the brand. I believe it's K and H. Yeah, it's K and H. And I'll link to this one below. This one just worked perfectly for me. They unfortunately don't come in a lot of different sizes. I will link to another brooder plate that I used. This is a much larger one. I used it for 30 chicks. This one I used for four chicks. So I'll link to that larger one below. I don't remember what brand it is offhand. But before you buy a brooder plate, be sure to look at some of the reviews. And I would actually go on the forum backyardchickens.com and just do a search for that brand of brooder to see if anything comes up. Because people talk about anything and everything on there, and if there is some kind of problem with your brooder plate, it would probably come up on there. But this K&H one, amazing. The larger one I used that I'll link to below was also really, really good. So if you like this kind of advice and this approach to chicken keeping, check out my course on raising chicks, and happy chickening.